<clears throat> so we are rolling. Hi, Leo, that's you. This is Tarot Illumination. This is your general report, March 2018 season. Now, Leo, probably you more than anyone have been really shaken up. Uh, maybe Aquarius too with all these eclipses, you know, and there's the whole Leo North Node thing going on. So that just happened in February. So you're coming out of that now, and there's a whole new perspective going on for you, Leo. Actually, I'll just show you like I did the others. Stay there. So, oh, yeah, this chart, these charts are getting so beat up. So you just came out of all of this, the Aquarius. The Aquarius new moon and the, the eclipses and everything right on your axis there. And that was probably probably quite a shakeup, especially in the world of relationships. Significant, you know, like the marriage type relationships as opposed to boyfriend, girlfriend stuff. And now we're moving into this new thing of Pisces, a massive stellium in Pisces here. Excuse me, sorry. Sun, uh, Neptune, Mercury, Venus, Chiron, all in Pisces. Okay, there's the massive stellium going through March, and that's going to sit with you in your eighth house. It's going to look sort of like this. Okay, sort of like this. Okay, that would be all the Aquarius stuff over here that you just endured, and now we're dealing with the Pisces stuff up here in your eighth house, all to do with uh, deep shared resources. Uh, you know, financial matters with significant others, that kind of thing, a deep soul intimacy. And it might be very, um, let's say, nebulous and hard to understand what's going on here with all this massive Pisces energy. And because of the emphasis with Chiron, a lot of things might be uh, revealed and coming to the surface that need attention. Okay, so let's just see what happens. This is just a broad spectrum uh, spiritual report, you know, from the heart outwards. A lot of people relate, you know, do everything through the brain, through the mind, through the senses and everything. But I like to read from the heart outwards, okay? <clears throat> so uh, cards are already well shuffled in advance, but I go to the last second. So you're a witness. No jumpers, no flyers, no oracles, no reversals. Sorry, none of that. No time, no room. Sorry, people. And we're going to use that heart spread. Watch for your sun, moon, and rising like people do. And do the cross-watching, you know, for significant others. Sometimes it uh, really, really helps to get uh, perspective. So things don't seem, you don't have to take things too personally. Or it just gives you a broader understanding of how uh, the other people are uh, functioning in your life and your world. Okay? So here we go. All right, <clears throat> so let's cut it up. Let's cut it way, oh, let's cut it up like this. Bam, yeah. Okay, all right. <clears throat> now, Tower Illumination is bringing TL Angels into the meeting, and you guys are going to bring yours too, I hope. I would ask you to invite them here. We already just cut, sorry, I almost double cut there. <laughs> I've never done it, but I'm sure it would happen. I'm sorry I almost did it. Anyway, here we go. This is your core heart energy pulsing. It's always uh, needing what it needs and ex uh, excreting what it doesn't need. You know, uh, there's no apologies here. If we're not relating to our heart the way we should, then things might feel really out of whack. It's up to us as conscious waking beings, Leo, to feed our heart, nourish your heart, love you first, Bring it what it needs, what it wants. Love yourself. Take care of yourself. And the heart will do everything else, okay? Uh, it will find all the, the toxins and the waste and it will excrete them. But that you have to be nurtured, first of all. Over here is legacy energy. What are you bringing in with you? Uh, are you still kind of in shockwaves from the Leo Aquarius axes and the eclipses stuff that just happened? Uh, are you riding the crest of the wave, being the most amazing, wonderful Leo? Who knows? Over here, the ever-present now, it's so easy to slip out of alignment with the, the now because it's almost like trying to be a, a really premium surfer where you're always on the crest, you're, on, you're right at the wave at the right time, totally in the zone, time doesn't matter. Um, but it's not, it's hard to be that way the whole time. Like it's a lot easier and simpler, and more comfortable, just to rely on the status quo and project our futures based on the past. Like oh well, I told you so. <laughs> Guess what? Anyway, it's from being in the presence and the now where we have all our power, 
and the power is expressed through the healing power of our decisions and our decisions in a healthy loving way would be all about nurturing ourselves loving ourselves feeding the heart what it needs so how do we do that that would be the energy here no apologies for this okay leo so doing that in a conscious self-loving way where uh, you are loving and you are loved and includes loving you too okay you are deeply loving of self that will radiate out of you create a beautiful love aura and then the love that you need comes to you okay you don't have to force it you don't have to go out there hunting for it okay so this would be the energy of consequence that say if this is all working really smoothly okay if you're abdicating your responsibilities or your opportunities to uh, manifest yourself evolve yourself and you're just not doing any of this then all of this energy here would be like you know fate okay blame it on fate oh it worked well oh it didn't work well over here is the energy of what if so when you are in your power and you're even when you're doing your best there's always a sense of risk well what if i mess up what if i mess up right now oh no uh, what if you do a good job oh yeah wow over here would be like prospects and momentum i hope you can see the heart shape there and at the very core that's the heart itself beating and pumping very 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 pure and raw circumstantial energy here like the weather like everyone uh, is it good weather great is it sucky weather great doesn't matter you're gonna make the best of it okay so with the six of pentacles leo my feeling here is it's time to understand like what's really going on in um, how you're sharing your resources with others and how others are sharing their resources with you all the way from like joint finances all the way, the way to what happens under the covers in a, in a marriage so to speak i'm talking about deep intimacy here here i'm not talking about just like you know what's in your pocket what's in your wallet this is very much i think related to the eighth house energy where pisces is going to be right now what needs to be brought into balance in terms of the way that you are sharing your resources with others and others are sharing their resources with you it has to be brought into balance whatever is out of balance and this is the perfect time for to do that it's the perfect time for you to decide to let love in and the answer is always love love and healing into the equation here it's not a couple's relationship it's not a love and relationship reading it's just general okay but with the eighth house it does involve other people the significant others other people's resources and that could be anything a resource a talent a gift time whatever at the heart okay so you might be a little bit uh shaken up right now because of what happened in the eclipse season just last month so it's like seriously rattled trying to keep it together to the point where maybe you can't keep it together so you're choosing the option to decide not to decide and that's perfectly okay sometimes it's it's okay for the heart to say you know what the best thing right now is to do absolutely nothing just let the dust settle from what was ever happening in the eclipses uh, in around February on that big Leo Aquarius axis. That was probably enough for anybody to handle right now who's a Leo, okay? So right now, I feel like the heart is deliberately saying, no more, we're not gonna do anything of any huge consequence right now. Um, the best thing to do is to, I'm not saying turn a blind eye, but literally a conscious, deliberate decision to kind of be very, very neutral here and just allow things to be how they are for a while so that you leo can settle okay it doesn't mean you're giving up it doesn't mean you're abdicating here it just means a deliberate decision to withhold the decision making phenomenon that's what i'm reading here okay in other words it's kind of like a defensive move you know like if you're in a sports game or something a deliberate strategy to retreat withdraw withhold and do absolutely nothing while all the other bs is sorting itself out and then you come back into play okay let's have a look what are you bringing with you okay judgment wow so my feeling here is that you might have really got blitzed in uh, the eclipses okay and we're still in it you know there's another round coming up in about six months with the july august uh final blast of those eclipses so if you felt as though you were like blown to pieces ripped to pieces 
and you're getting a chance to like start from scratch again, having perhaps learned the hard way uh, for whatever is happening with you in uh, your deepest, most important relationships, that's good. If you're coming in knowing that you have, let's say, been seriously messed up by another and it's time for you to forgive them anyway, or if you have seriously messed up someone else, or if you have seriously messed up yourself, it's time to uh, ask for forgiveness from them towards you or forgiveness of yourself towards yourself for having messed up, okay? Because that happens, you know, it, probably one of the things about those recent eclipses is where you might have discovered in a very stark, vivid way, let's put Leo right here as though that's Leo here, you might have gone through these like really like shocking awakenings of what is actually going on in your most significant relationships. It might not be very really obvious yet, but it's going to become obvious as time goes on whatever is not working and whatever is working. And a chance at redemption, a chance to start from scratch, but it does mean that the like the freedom and the release that comes with the redemption does include uh, a huge doses of blessings and forgiveness. Okay? I'm blessing my enemies. Blessing my enemies. I am blessing my enemies. I bless myself. I forgive myself. I forgive my enemies. I ask for forgiveness of others, just as I would ask you to forgive me for having caused harm in any way. I meant no harm. Uh, I'm just doing the best I can. I'm pretending I'm you, Leo. Sorry. Getting, kind of getting all trancy here. All I'm suggesting is that it's redemption. You're bringing in freedom and release and redemption and a desire to start from scratch, start all over again, uh, despite the failings. Okay? What about now? Because with the nine of pentacles here, you might be getting a sense of release of like, perhaps maybe this is what I've been yearning for. Maybe it's time for me to have like severed bonds that were not healthy, that are not working, really dysfunctional joint finances, joint relationships of any kind where the resources are deeply merged. And instead, like, you know what? Poof, I want my own act. I want to like be my own self, my own person, uh, appraise myself, get back into harmony with myself here, like the Nine of Pentacles, and perhaps like like restructure again from the ground up, so you can get a um, a renewed, solid sense of your own integrity, where it's not contingent upon anyone or everyone else, where you are reintegrating right now. It's like the desire right now is to be uh, complete and whole from within uh, and like like almost like reclaim your resources, reclaim your power. If you've been giving away a lot of resources, if you've been either sloppy or lazy or unaware or deliberately um, maybe just overly generous or something, it's time to bring things back into balance where you like if if something's been going on that's really not acceptable where maybe it's not ready exactly right now to happen but it's time for you to dissociate yourself from what's not working and rebuild yourself into your own solid being you know whether it's actually directly to do with money or just your resources like your time that you're spending with certain people certain environments, certain places, perhaps work, whatever, and have a really uh, good appraisal about how are we going to make this work better so that you can be truly who you are in your fullest sense of uh, like the independent self before you start giving it all away again, in case you're compelled to give it away. It's, it's time to like gather it all for you now. All right, Leo? What about your decisions? Okay. The thing is, okay, I feel like the flow here is that you're you're kind of stuck. As much as you might want to be released and redeemed from a situation, perhaps a deeply merged situation, uh, in some ways it might feel as though you're stuck with it, and that might make you, that's what might trigger the, the sense of maybe even feeling paralyzed here at the core of the heart, like, oh my gosh, 
You know, that happens sometimes in marriages or uh, business contracts and stuff where you start, da, 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 we're going to do this and it's going to be awesome. And then you realize, oh my gosh, these are seriously binding contracts, man. And like, I'm not so happy with the way things are going right now. Uh, I don't want, I want to get out of this. And all of a sudden it's just like, wait a minute, you, you can't get out of this. We're bonded. We're, you know, we're contracted. And it's just like, oh, 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 what do we do now? What do we do now? It's almost like I want to get out of this. I want to get out of this. I want my independence. Um, your decisions, uh, the, the healing power of your decisions would be factored on the understanding that you might be kind of in binding relationships, binding uh contractual agreements it could be unspoken these could be things that are just happening uh, subconsciously or on autopilot where you were not fully aware of all of this and now you realize how deeply uh, bound in you are with in situations that uh, maybe maybe are not working for you and you'd like to start again and like recalibrate for what does work for you so we have to be very, very careful here because I, my, my feeling is that the, the bonding here is actually kind of significant. Let's have a look. Okay. Well, it's so much to do with your resources. It's This is so heavily to do with your uh, eighth house uh, joint resources energy here. It might be that the whole of March is like, you know, a, a four-week roughly uh, journey of discovering of how deeply tied up you are with something that in some ways is really awesome but in some ways very deeply binding which could be very uh, almost suffocating for you or uh, very constrictive for you and what you really want is like the sense of liberation but by wanting the liberation you lose the stuff that you've got so it's a bit awkward, okay? That's what I'm feeling here, Leo. It's almost like being in a double bind. You know what that means? Like, it's like you're damned if you do, but you're damned if you don't do something. You're damned if you do this, but and you're damned if you don't do that. It's just, what do you do? What do you do? Stuck, stuck, stuck. Oh, no. Well, my feeling here is in order to move on and make these decisions, make the decisions in a way that's loving and healing for you is to be really clear and open honest about this and not sit there paralyzed even though you might be paralyzed right now eventually this is going to have to be dealt with where you're going to have to face on and have a full appraisal in other words the way to deal with this situation is be really really like starkly aware and open of what's going on here realize that you're kind of stuck paralyzed locked into a situation from which it might be very hard to extract yourself without making deliberate uh, decisions to cut certain bonds so that would require having a really good honest appraisal about what is actually going on with you and your significant relationships that include a, a deep merger of joint resources understanding what is failing what is not working Put, out, put that out there into the conversation so that you're not stuck paralyzed on autopilot or subconscious, okay? And instead, it's put into the, the environment where decisions can be made, okay? Loving decisions, of course. Okay, let's have a look. Consequently, gosh, all these pentacles. Consequently, this might you put you in a position where it's it's almost like it gets worse. I'm, I don't mean to scare you, Leo, but it might feel to me as though once you discover how deeply merged you are in a situation and how much you might want the, the independence right now or how much you might be enjoying your independence right now, that, it's almost like a wish here. Uh, if you're in something bi binding to the point where it feels constrictive, that's a problem. So again, it's the I'm, I'm feeling the energy of the double bind where you want everything that counts and what's stable and what's solid and everything that's been built so far, but you're also realizing that by perhaps severing and cutting the bonds that are not working and being really honest and open about the appraisals and 
getting the sense of release and fresh starts and new beginnings and redemption that you deserve, even if it involves admitting errors, er others admitting errors to you and you admitting errors to others, blessing the whole situation. Despite all of that, uh, it could be uh, the situation could be uncomfortable enough that on the one side, you'd be lucky to just get out with what you can. On the other side, it's like a chance to start from a new beginning and create a whole new power base, create a whole new structure from scratch uh, based on what works more for you rather than for uh, the others, so to speak. And I'm not saying this is a selfish thing. I'm talking about self-love here, but maybe there was a degree of naivety here and you got into a jam without knowing it. But now you're realizing how serious this is uh, in terms of binding, uh, you know, assumptions in relationships. And a lot of things happen on autopilot, just assuming. And then we end up in situations like, oh, my gosh, I had no idea how deep I was in here. So part of you uh, realize it, it wants to come out with what you can get. Uh, Hold on to what works, cherish and value what is actually working, uh, bring that into harmony, but also uh, the chance to restart again and uh, build new foundations from scratch and create a new power base for you, Leo. So what happens if you, you see with the sun here, what happens if you allow yourself to be stuck and allow yourself to be paralyzed and just sit with all of this? You lose all of it. You lose all of your light. You end up kind of like being a ghost. Whereas if you uh, take full stock of this situation, understand that this might not be comfortable. This might have been a long time in coming and it's about time that this was dealt with. And understanding that the conversation needs to happen about what is not working and deeply binding uh, shared resources, relationship things, then you can come in, back into your own light and joy and power and happiness. It's almost like a relief. It's almost like by making the decision here, if you look at these as scissors, by willing, by having the courage to step out of the paralysis, take a really honest, cold, not cold, but truthful, uh, neutral, spiritual perspective of this, sometimes it's good to just go snip. And it's so liberating. OK, then uh, snip, 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 snip. And then the light shines again. You get to be your classic, normal, shiny Leo self, as opposed to like stuck and bound in something that is restrictive and not working for you, even though it might feel as though it's everything you have. There's something out of whack. OK, uh, prospects here. OK, the thing. <laughs> The thing about this story here, the way I'm feeling is that there are so many like major arcana here. It might feel as though you're getting swept along, like almost like being uh, cast in, in a role in a movie where somebody grabbed you off the street and said, hey, Leo, you're the perfect character to, to play the lead role in this movie. You don't have to know anything about acting. Just I'll, I'll give you your lines. Just do it. And you kind of go, what? OK. Oh, okay, okay, all right. Okay. And then you realize, oh, my gosh. I had no idea what was going on. I never did, but it doesn't matter. What I'm feeling here for you, Leo, is that this is actually very, very liberating. Like if you got really, really like shaken up in uh, February with the eclipses and you're coming into an even starker awareness of like, oh my gosh, what is the deeper implication here with my joint resources and everything with significant others? And you realize, oh, no, I had no idea it was like this. Oh, no. What am I going to do? Well, you make decisions, okay? That's how you catalyze your evolution. And then it triggers you. It opens you up into a brand new world. And I'm sorry, I don't have a reading here for you to follow on from this. But it's like everything, it's like, it's like a complete redemption, complete like enough. <laughs> Got to start all over again. Uh, reclaim my own joy, my own happiness. And I know I'm going to be heading into the, known, the unknown, but you know what? It doesn't even matter. It doesn't even matter. It's almost like the point is to get out of this. <laughs> get out of this. Be happy. Be happy and move on. Gosh, I'm sorry I got carried away there, Leo. Please reinterpret however you want. This reading is for you, okay? 
I was just give you, you the terror illumination story, but it's your reading. Do the cross watching and all that. Okay. All the best. All the best. I hope it didn't scare you or hurt your feelings. Bye bye.